In this video, I'm going to go over Schoology apps, and we'll cover how you can add apps to either your courses or to your resources so that you can utilize those resources in your assignments. Apps allow you to access resources or tools that you use inside of Schoology to incorporate them in assignments or to develop materials for your courses. Schoology has many app integrations. To go along with this video, I've tried to provide a, a list of apps that our school has access to and that you could utilize when building materials and creating assignments for your students. I will work to maintain that list as Schoology makes new apps available. Some apps are easy to install and begin using right away, but some require a subscription or licensing. For subscription-based resources or tools, you'll need a license key and password to enable those apps. I'll attempt to maintain the necessary information for apps that you will need this information for to use in Schoology, and I'll include it along with the apps listing. In Schoology, this little icon with the four little squares next to the search button, if you click on that, that'll take you to the App Center. Unfortunately, this long list of apps does not have a search feature. But on a cold gray winter day, it's worth scrolling down the list or viewing the list I have shared to see the many available apps. Many of these apps will help you more easily construct materials and assignments in Schoology and extend your ability to differentiate assignments for students. I'll go through how to add a couple essential apps and the process will be similar for adding others to your courses. So looking down this list, one of the essential apps to add is the Google Drive resource app. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say install resource app. It always makes you agree when you're installing an app. And then this is what's called a resource app. So I would just check here on this box to add it to my resources. I've already done that. So I'm going to cancel here. I'm going to click on app center here on the right to go back to the list of apps. Let's show you now inside of resources in resources on the left hand side. If I go down to apps, you'll see there's my Google Drive resource app. It's at the top by default. Over here, now it's showing the files that are stored inside of my Google Drive. This will let me look through those in case I wanted to incorporate resources into my materials or add them into assignment. In a little bit, I'll show you when you're creating an assignment how you do that. Okay, I'm going back to the App Center at the top. When you click on this, you have to click on the App Center button. Another important tool to add is Google Drive Assignments. This is called an LTI app. An LTI app in general, what that means is it's a tool that allows your Google Drive to work in a certain way and features of Google Drive assignments to be built in to Schoology. It's different than a resource app. A resource app just generally provides you the ability to access resources that you'd build into your assignments. So it's really kind of the difference between a resource tool and a functional tool that you'd utilize in some way. So I'm going to say install. And again, I have to agree. You might get some kind of uh, notification about how this is tying together your Google Drive and Schoology. It always brings up a list of your courses and you can select which courses you want to install that application for. Some you might use them for and some you might not. So I would just click install. If I had a new course, if I'm creating new courses, maybe at the beginning of the year or semester, then I'd need to come back in here, install again, and make sure to check the boxes for the courses that I need to add that application to. So I'm clicking install. Let's go and see where you'd find that. I'm going to go over to courses and I'm going to go into one of my demo courses. On my materials page, if I was adding materials, I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on Add Assignment. Down here at the bottom of the composition space, you'll see Google Drive Assignments. The Google Drive Assignment app, what it does is it provides features intended to mimic how assignments were created in Google Classroom. But those assignments, when you create them with this integration, provides the ability for grades to be added to your assignments and for those grades to be incorporated with your Schoology gradebook. If you're developing a lot of assignments where you're incorporating materials from your Google Drive, this, again, it just mimics what you may be used to if you were creating assignments in Google Classroom. The third essential app um, that I'm going to add is conferences. 
conferences, it's a replacement for Google Meet with an assortment of features that are specifically aimed at meeting virtually with your students and engaging online with your classes. So I'm going to click Install App. I agree again. And again, it's going to ask me which courses to add that to. If you have new courses, you're starting a new year, a new semester, you're going to need to come back in here and install that for the, your new courses. So I don't have it on my other demo course. I'm going to click here, and that will install that. I'll go back to courses now. I'll go to the class that I just installed that for. And now on the left-hand side here in my course navigation, you'll see the conferences button. And I'd click on that to launch my conferences tool. In another video, we'll show you how to utilize conferences. Once again, returning to the App Center, I encourage you um, to explore these. There are a lot of resource apps that will put resources in easy reach uh, to be included in your assignment or at, into your materials um, for a course. There are a lot of these that are free to use, YouTube, PBS Learning Media, NBC Learn, TED-Ed, Writable, there's a lot of other ones in here. Vimeo um, is another one. It's just a video repository that you could draw from to incorporate materials into your lessons and assignments. One that you'll see a lot of in here is Gale Resources. It's a subscription-based resource that our library purchases. And so there are a lot of different ones. This one here was for biography. This one here is Gale in Context for High School, Gale eBooks. Science, again, if you look down through this list, I think there are about 20 of them, and those resources have always been available to you. Our library pays for that subscription for teachers and students to have access to, and so this would just allow you to access those resources, again, to build in to your course materials or assignments from inside of Schoology. I'll show you kind of the different places once you add apps that you access those. The first is in Resources. Again, you can go down here to apps. You'll see I've added a few. Um, my Google Drive resource lets me look over into my Google Drive, Vimeo, YouTube. Inside of my courses, I showed you um, when I go into a course, as I add different materials, again, I can add those materials into assignments or I could include them really anywhere. I could add, you know, a video into a discussion, find that through Schoology. If I'd incorporated YouTube or uh, Vimeo, something like that, any of these really creating a page, adding a media album, and then you can look over in your resources and draw from those resource apps as well. Some of them get built right into the add materials folder. Inside of that list, there are some tools like Edpuzzle or Pear Deck, Satori, Gizmos, a number that we, again, we pay for those um, as a school, and you can access or add those as applications, and then you can build materials or assignments utilizing those. Here on this right-hand side, that's where some of those resources can be accessed to add materials. When you actually go in to create assignments or pages, some of those tools, if I click up here on insert content, some of those applications have allowed me to draw on a wider source of resources to build content into my assignments. If you've added something and you want to delete it from a course, I'll come over here on the left, Edpuzzle I'd added to this course. I can just simply uh, hover over it and on the left, on the X, and it says, are you sure you want to uninstall this app? If I click Submit, now it's no longer there. You always have the ability to go back to the App Center and add something. This list of apps is being updated all the time. I went in uh, before the holidays and looked at this as I was constructing the list of apps that we utilize or have subscriptions for. And when I came back in here after the holidays, I'd noticed that they'd already added quite a few new integrations. So again, apps just in general help tie together resources and tools outside of Schoology and make them accessible inside so that you can incorporate them into your uh, course materials or assignments.